Today, we're pleased to present the first part of a two-part interview with the internationally renowned Margaret Randall. Margaret is a longtime North American feminist activist who has supported Latin American revolutions, as well as a prolific writer, poet, translator, and photographer, and out lesbian. Margaret Randall traveled from Cuba to Nicaragua in 1979, just before the Sandinista victory, at the invitation of culture minister Ernesto Cardinal to conduct field research, which led to her book, Sandino's Daughters, Testimonies of Nicaraguan Women in Struggle. I want to begin by saying that I was never someone who took the conventional route of going to school to learn. I preferred going out on my own to experience the world, seeking out mentors and apprenticing to those who were willing to teach me what I longed to know. El Corno impacted my own writing dramatically. You've got to remember that I came up in the United States, um, in a United States plagued by McCarthyism. Writers and other creative artists were told we couldn't address social issues in our work. Those who did uh, lost their jobs, some were incarcerated and, or worse. So coming in contact through the magazine with poets from all over the world who weren't suffering that sort of lingering censorship and self-censorship was an eye-opener for me. 